Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today is Monday. We have a super film support. As always, remember, you can go to superfilmsupport.com, send your film questions. I'll make a video answering you. So we have a question about 6x17 cameras and adapters. He's been thinking about getting an X-Band, but at the crazy price they have nowadays, uh, he said he was considering buying one when they were a thousand. I bought one at that price and then sold it for pretty much the same. Um, and he's following Nick Carver's YouTube, which honestly, if you guys don't follow it, you should go follow it. He does great work with a 6x17 and he uses a dedicated Shenhua 6x17 camera. I'm also considering buying a 6x17 camera from Malvandi, but perhaps the cheapest way to go panoramic is to use 35 with an adapter in a 6x45 or Hasselblad camera. So honestly, if you're going for panoramic cameras and you want to get a taste of it, I highly recommend you do what you said. Just grab a couple negatives and crop them. Crop them to that uh, format and see how you like it, first of all. Then, if you're gonna be talking about two different cameras, like, I uh, would say 617, I'd say there's three different scenarios here. There's the 6x17 dedicated camera that has bellows, like the one Nick Carver uses. I think that's the most flexible of them all, and flexible in terms of 6x17, because it will have uh, the option to change lenses because it uses a lens board just like the Chamonix I have here. I have a Chamonix because that's all I had. Uh, it has bellows so you can move and change focal uh, distance or focal like, flange distance. Uh, you know what I mean. From a 150 to a 300 or to a 250 or to a 90 millimeters, whatever you want to use in 6x17. You can shift up and shift down. You can do all these things, which I think is really, really cool. Plus, Every shot you can compose because you take off the film holder, you put the ground glass and you can compose your shot. So you're not just shooting, uh, you know, like say blindsided. Um, then we have the 6x17 cameras that don't have movements like that. So for example, we have the 6x17 from Alvandi that does have, I think, if I'm not wrong, maybe shift up and maybe some tilt, but it won't have bellows. So it's not so easy to change the cones. Maybe he does have a, a changing cones. I haven't checked it exactly, but if you can change the cones, it's a pain. You have to have different cones. Every lens has to be on a cone, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? And it's more limited. Also the ground glass and uh, the, the film back, I think they're probably detachable, but I'm not 100% sure either. Another thing that is a similar camera like that are the Linhoff or the Fuji GX617, if I'm not wrong. Those are cameras that you can usually focus the first shot and then you have to put the film inside and you can shoot, shoot, shoot. So usually you can't interchange from ground glass to this. I know there's different models, don't get me wrong, Maybe uh, you can change them in the latest versions, but I know some of them are, you load the film and you just shoot the whole roll. A roll, whole roll is six by 17, just in case those are wondering, is three shots. So not like you're gonna be shooting a lot of pictures blindsided, uh, at least two of them. Um, so those cameras are a bit more limited. You are carrying a specific six by 17 with usually one lens cone and you can shoot. I think the one Nick Carver, the Shenhao, is a great option because it's, you know, a field camera, you fold it down, it's a six by 17, you take it out, you can focus, you can use filters, you, all these things. I think it's probably the best option out there. And then there's, I don't know if we're in the third or fourth option. Then the last option is the Shenhao or the Daiyi little uh, Graflock 617 adapter. You can get an Intrepid and adapt it. You can get a Chamonix and adapt it. You can get a Cinar and adapt it. You can use any camera that has a Graflock back to adapt it, four by five, of course. What happens with this, there's limitations of what lenses you can use because the circle will, you know, do some weird stuff with the four by five bellows. And then there's like, you know, the back of the camera is not six by 17, it's uh, 10 by 12 centimeters, four by five inches. So like you won't have exactly the coverage. So depending on what lens you want to use, you can't use that. Also, you're limited to having a four by five. You got to carry a four by five plus the adapter thingy, and then you can focus and compose. Like it's a bit more hassle. If you already own a four by five, maybe it's worth it. If you don't own a four by five and you're starting off fresh, I really think the six by 17 camera option is really good, especially the field option. Don't get me wrong, the Linhoff cameras, the Fuji camera, the Alvandi are great options but they're a little bit more annoying to set up, change cones, change lenses, da da da. If you're out in the field, I think, you know, having that field camera, like if you want a 300, if we've seen Nick Carver using a 300 mil lens, 
and focusing, you know, on something and maybe you want to have a wide angle because you want a bigger spectrum, like you can change it really fast and really easily. All you have to do is take off the lens board, change the lens and you're ready to go. So honestly, six by 17 is not a cheap format. I think one has to think about it quite a bit, but those are my suggestions. Uh, Frederick, I hope this helped you. Uh, they all also are in a similar price range. If I'm not wrong, the 6x17 by Shen Hao is around 2K. I think the back adapter is around maybe 1K, but then you have to have a camera. Uh, the Elvandi is probably around the 1 point something K. I haven't checked, uh, but you know, in the same price, I think the Shen Hao 6x17 dedicated camera, field camera is the best option. This was film, super film support, sorry guys. And if you want to check it out, you want to send a request to superfilmsupport.com and ask anything you want about film questions. Also, uh, if you want to be a Patreon or donate on PayPal, it helps the show running these questions for you guys. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.